Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com. This is a quick video on the installation of our multi-charts Elliott Wave Indicator Suite. So first of all, you'll receive an automated email. And the first thing to do before you download the Indicator Suite is click on this Elliott Wave DLL file setup. That will automatically download into your browser. So click on and open it. You'll then most likely get one of these screens here, Windows protected your PC. Click more info and run anyway. I'm not going to do that now because it's already on my computer. This file is necessary for your lifetime license and for the indicator suite to run on your computer. So once you've done that, you need your multi-charts platform open. So then you can click on Elliott Wave Indicator Suite. So that downloads again, but when you click on to open it, it opens your Power Language Editor with everything ticked for the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite. So then just go ahead and press OK and that adds it to your multi-charts. Okay, so the next thing we ask for in the email is your multi-charts user ID so we can then send you our lifetime license. So reply to that email that you receive with your user number. So to find that, click in help in your multi-charts platform about multi-charts and you will see your user ID. So that user ID you send to us and we'll send you a lifetime license. The next thing to do is just load it up on one chart first, set as default, and that will then run uh, on all of your charts that you add the indicator suite to. So to do that, right click anywhere on the chart, insert study, and then you need to highlight both of the Elliott Wave and the Elliott Wave Oscillator. If you hold down the control button, you'll be able to highlight both at the same time and then press OK. The next thing you'll need to do is insert your license key down at the bottom here. If you click in that field, you'll be able to use that. And then click Use as Default and then click OK. Click OK again. And now the Indicator Suite comes on to the trading platform. One thing I just wanted to note here is that you can change the color of these moving averages and everything like that. If you click on them, right click, you can format the study and you can change colors, styles, lines and everything like that. So everything's um, changeable to, white, to, where, to where you want to do it. And also to a quick note on isolating the bar count. Everything in this platform is pretty similar to TradeStation version and when you get the boot camp through it's from the TradeStation version. Uh, however, uh, the only difference is isolating the wave count. So we use this expert commentary box up here. So if you click on there and if you want to isolate the bar count down at this low here, you click on that and you see we have the one, two, three, four, and the pullback zones already in there. Now they won't stay there unless you adjust the bar count to the start. So as you can see here, current bar is 351. So right click, format indicators. This first one here, start bar 351. Once you've done that, you can click and close the expert commentary and your wave count will stay where it is. You'll also notice now we've pr printed the wave for low on this in the red zone here. We have the target zone up here if we then need to move along. So that's a quick installation.